The other day I had an opportunity to have a look at uh, somebody's ashes in an urn and I was kind of surprised at the uh, amount of ash there is uh, and the weight. So I'm a little bit concerned for this model because this is a double funeral, uh, a man and a woman, and I'm thinking that this size boat may not be able to carry two urns so what i'm going to do is slice it down the middle and i'm going to put another piece in and extend the size of the, the model by uh, 200 mil so i'll do that basic shape. Now what I'll do is I'll cut that. Turns out my fret saw doesn't have any blades. So we'll use a hacksaw blade. cutting it wider than what I want uh, because then I can sand it back into the proper shape. Okay, so I've extended this now by uh, 200 mil, which I think is four inches. The boat is now one metre long, which is just over three feet long. And now what I'll do is, with my trusty bamboo skewers, stick it together. I had to do this anyway because I need to be able to, to dismantle the mould so that when I have the cast on, the paper mache cast, I can release the mould from the cast. So I needed to have some way of being able to break the hull up to get it out of the cast. So, just very carefully run my skewers in on weird angles and that'll hold it nicely together.
for that. I always put the skewers in on angles because if I put them in parallel, the piece could just pull apart. So if I put them in on the angles, it makes it stronger. Flip it over and just put a couple into the keel. Pretty strong, strong enough, doesn't have to be strong. Now I'll break these off. And now, all I need to do with my little serrated knife is to just bring this into shape. I'm not too worried about the, the differences there. Um, it's going to be it's going to be paper mache so it'll be pretty rough but I'll just shape these into the existing hull So there we go, I've just very easily added another four inches to the hull and uh, what I have to do now is to smooth it and I'm going to use uh, maybe a 60, 80 grade sandpaper um, but for this part you really have to wear a mask because the fine particles will get up your nose and cause you all kinds of grief. So uh, I'll get on to doing that. Might even take it outside because it really does make a real mess. So we'll do that. Okay, so I'm not really worried about it being super smooth because, as I said before, it's going to be paper mache, so, um, you know, it's going to be fairly rough. No one is expecting a museum quality model. So I've basically roughly smoothed it off, and now the next phase is to uh, do the paper mache. So we'll do that.